Hello and thank you for joining us in this September edition of the GNBS in 30. I am Aisha Hussein, Marketing Officer of the GNBS, and I'm happy to be the host of this program. The month of September is no different from the previous months of this year, particularly because the GNBS continue to do much in the provision of its services to our various stakeholders. Speaking of the provision of services, the highlight for September was the commissioning of a spanking new GNBS sub-office in Region 5. Other key activities conducted during the month were the recertification of Dubai Gafours and the GWI Laboratories, the certification of another local business to the use of the Made in Guyana mark, the verification of measuring instruments, and the delivery of training courses to persons within the public and private sector. Stay tuned to learn about these and more after this break. Welcome back. In, the, in its efforts to decentralize its services to all 10 administrative regions of Guyana, the GMBS on September 7 opened the door of its sub-office in Fort Wellington Region No. 5. The office, which is housed in a separate section of the Regional Administrative Building, was opened during a special ceremony organized by the Bureau. Speakers at the event include the President of Region 5, Chamber of Commerce, Deputy REO, the Regional Chairman and the Deputy Police Commander of Region 5. Here are the highlights of the ceremony. The establishment of this branch office in Region 5 was necessary to facilitate the decentralization of requisite metrology and product compliance service offered by GNBS to ensure customer protection and equitable trade. And this is in keeping with His Excellency vision of decentralizing government services in Region 5. It is my task this morning to join with, with the regional officials as we open the very first sub-office in Region 5 to better serve the people of the west coast of Barbies. This is another tangible effort of the Bureau to decentralize its services to every region in Guyana. I must acknowledge the good work of the regional administration over the years, which has supported the Bureau through the provision of limited but crucial weights and measure services to this region and the residents of Region 5. The Bureau has always been appreciative of the efforts of the region, and more so with the expansion of this office in Region 5. To renovate this office and the equipment, the capital works cost the Bureau of Standards approximately $9 million. Knowing the development that is happening in our country and in our region, I think this is the opportune time that GNBS is coming to Region 5 to expand on their services. Previously, many of our people from this region would have had to travel to New Amsterdam or Georgetown to seek the services. But now, they can come right here and not only providing the service, but when we look at what they would have done within the past few weeks, we've seen that there was a transformation of this little space. In this region, the business community 
welcomes you and I also look forward to work along with you to achieve your goals. We know that you have been visiting us periodically, but not enough. Your now permanent presence will definitely help to develop and implement the national quality infrastructure you desire in partnership with us, the business community. Um, more to my department, the Guyana Police Force is specifically concerned about the safe passage of persons through this corridor. And in this, in this regard, the partnership with the Guyana Police Force and the Bureau of Standards will ensure that our um, efforts to keep this roadway safe, this, this roadway safe and to make sure that our equipment are calibrated in such a way that we will be able to have successful prosecution of persons who are unwilling to operate in a way that will make this corridor safe. We are happy to now be directly serving the residents of West Coast Burbies, Region 5. To contact the office, you can call 232-0015. We will be right back with more. Metrology is the study of measurement and at the Legal Metrology Services Department of the GNBS, we take accuracy in measurements very seriously. Our team is the guiding body that provides verification services for users of weights and measures used in trade. This ensures that consumers always receive the most accurate amount of product they are purchasing and keeps business owners protected. Weights and measurement equipment stamped verified and approved by the GNBS can assure accurate measurements. So ensure that the ones you are using are verified. Find out more by calling our Legal Metrology Services Department or email us. GNBS, creating a culture of quality through standards. Now let's switch your attention to the verification of measuring instruments by the GNBS. During the month of September, the Bureau continued to conduct the verification of weighing and measuring instruments, including scales, masses, and measures for the second half of the year. This is to ensure measure measurement accuracy during trade transactions. The verification of weigh bridge scales used in the transportation sector, rice mills, and at manufacturing entities started in August and continue in September. Our head of corporate communications, Lloyd David, caught up with the legal metrology team in Region 3 as they undertook the verification of a rice mill scale. Yes, so the Guyana National Bureau of Standards as a national measurement institute is responsible for the verification of weighing and measuring devices used in trade. Well, we have been doing so since for the second half of 2022, since July, and, to, and we're in the month of September, and we're at a rice mill and we're conducting the verification of Weybridge scale. With me is Inspector Claudius Baines. Could you tell me a bit about what is happening here and why you're doing all of this and so forth? Yes, sir, sure. First of all, since we're in the month of September, we are doing verification of Weybridge scale in Region 3, and we are at a rice mill currently verifying a Weybridge scale that is behind me there. Hence, we do several tests to ensure that the scale is accurate, such as we check the scale to ensure that it's zero balance forcefully. Thereafter, we do increasing and decreasing loads, load tests. After that, we do a repeatability test. Thereafter, we do an eccentricity test. And finally, we do accumulative tests where we do a drive on with the truck at three different points. This is to ensure that stakeholders 
and cost and consumers are your their satisfaction in terms of services met. Yeah, so uh, this is very good. This, uh, this is very important that the Guy National Bureau Standards is conducting the verification of these wavered scales. Aside from these scales, I know very well that the GNBS also verifies scales in the market. Just recently, we had our mobile stamping of verification. That, that is coming to an end. It's coming to an end in September. So this entire verification period for the second half of the year is going to conclude on September 30. So those who have not gotten the, ver the, the devices verified thus far for the, for the second half of the year need to do so as soon as possible because the deadline is quickly approaching. And when, I, when we talk about devices, other devices, uh, if you could mention some of those devices other than this way, which scale that we verify across the country quickly for us? Sure, we verify equal arm scales, platform scales, electronic scales, moisture meters, petrol pumps, bulk meters, etc. That's quite a bit and it's important that we verify all weighing and measuring devices using commercial trail because as Mr. Bain said, we want to ensure that the consumers are protected as well as we want to ensure that the vendor or the, or the rice mill owner, whoever also get value for their money as well. So the GMBS has a very important uh, task and mandate to ensure that all weighing and measuring devices used in trade are verified. And just to remind you that we have offices across the country, the GMBS is expanding, so if you have a scale or a device that you need to be verified, contact that sub-office or that office in your region and make arrangements to have those devices verified. Yes, Mr. Bays from here, so where are you going next in terms of the verification of these very large scale here, in terms of Region 3? From here, we'll be continuing verification of waiver scales in Region 3. We have, the, we have about five more scales that we can conclude within the end of this week. So, Mr. Baines, I want to thank you very much for giving us this opportunity to interview you while you're doing your very important task, ensuring that all wing and measuring devices used in trade are verified. So, thank you very much. Thank you very much as well, Mr. Lowe. If you use a measuring instrument to buy or sell, I encourage you to get your instrument verified by the GNBS at any of its office countrywide. If you have large immobile instruments, our inspectors will come to you, to your place of business, to provide verification services. Note that the deadline for verification is September 30. Good afternoon, Auntie. Good afternoon. How are these clothes are going? They're very cheap. You want some? Yes, please a kilogram. All right. Pull on weight. You know these blue scales are for home use only and they are not approved by the GNBS for selling? So which one is supposed to use? This is what I use all the time. Any of the scales approved by the GNBS for selling, like those red equal arm scales. Oh, like this one over here? Yes, and it must be stamped and verified by the GNBS every six months. Always ensure when making purchases that the seller uses the approved scale stamped and verified by the GNBS and the scale is at zero balance before weighing. GNBS, creating a culture of quality through standards. Thanks for staying with us. The GNBS recertified two laboratories under its laboratory certification program after they continued to meet the requirements of the national standard GYS 170-2009, general requirements for the operation of the laboratory. The GWI Laboratory was recertified on August 31, while Dubai Gafur Medical Center Laboratory was certified on September 8. Let us have a look at what occurred at the GWI recertification ceremony. GWI is poised to unveil a host of treatment systems in the very near future, in the next three years or so. And without quality results, the realization of those treatment plans will not be optimal. And being the premier water quality lab in the country, we have um, a mandate not to fulfill the request, but to fulfill the need to properly assess any water sample that may be presented um, in front of us. In light of that, um, I'd like for us to expand the scope and um, those measures will be put in place. Another aspect is the health and safety. Um, this continues to grow in whatever sector you're in, and that is something that also we like to work on. And 
We know we missed the opportunity for the GYS uh, 170 2021. On behalf of the Guyana National Bureau of Standards, I would like to congratulate the management and team of the Guyana Water Inc. Laboratory on achieving recertification of the laboratory to the GYS 170 standard. Now the certification period is valid for two years and within that period, three surveillance audits will be conducted. These are basically impromptu audits, meaning that the auditors, we can just show up at any point to audit the laboratory. Of course, this is to ensure that the laboratory continues to meet the requirements of the national standard. Also, I wish to commend Mr. Parstrom and his team who would have worked arduously in addressing those findings during the assessment. I would like to encourage the team to always aim for continuous improvement. This can be done through management reviews, internal auditing and actively identifying corrective and preventive actions. Certification provides confidence in the results provided by these laboratories as they continue to conform to the national standard. Stay tuned. I do hope you are enjoying this edition of the GNBS in 30 so far. Now we turn your attention to the Made in Guyana certification. On September 9, Basio's Dynasty became the 10th company to be certified by the GNBS to use the Made in Guyana standards mark on its products. The certificate was handed over to the business at a brief ceremony in the conference room of the GNBS even as the proprietress Radhika Basio became very emotional at her business's attainment of the, this prestigious Made in Guyana standards mark. Let's have a look at what occurred. I'd like to thank Guyana National Bureau of Standards for being so informative and committed to bring me thus far for certification. When persons see this mark on your product, they would know that you are striving and working to meet a standard of operating your business. You are among a family of certified companies and we want to welcome you aboard and we want to encourage you. You work hard to attain the use of the mark. Continue working hard to maintain the use of the mark. Do not allow yourselves to go up and then to fall down up and keep going further and further and further before the sky is the limit it's up to you so congratulations again and welcome aboard our certification program it's time to draw your attention to the numerous training courses the gnbs offers to its stakeholders whether they are from the public or private sector or just an individual looking to upgrade his or herself with courses in standardization. The GMS Head of Corporate Communications, Lloyd David, sat down with one of our business development officers, Tyrone Rambakas, to discuss the trainings planned for the remainder of the year. At the GNBS, as we're all aware, we provide a number of different trainings in many different areas. Now, we work with both international standards as well as local standards. But of course, all of our trainings that we provide, they're based on standards. So with that being said, of course, we have trainings that are scheduled to run for the entire year, all the way from January to December. Now, so far for the year, the trainings, the, especially the demand for them, we have mm -hmm. seen them continuously rise. So it is something that definitely persons can look forward for more of it to come. Now, in terms of the recent trainings that we've had, there have been quite a few that, of course, it is important for us to mention to show persons or to let persons know just how impactful 
these trainings have been on their lives as well as the companies that we work with as well. Now, uh, just to go back a little bit, in the late July, we actually had a training which was understanding the requirements of ISO 9001. Now, this training was conducted here at the GNBS, of course, and we saw approximately 15 persons participating in it. Now, with that batch of persons, 100% of them passed successfully, and they were able to get their certificates to basically tell about their competence, that they were able to deliver um, and they're able to understand fully about what the requirements of that ISO standard really is. Yes, before you go on to the other training, I know a lot of companies, they, are, they have recognized how important is the ISO 9001 yes. in ensuring that they satisfy their customers and also manage their risk and so forth. Definitely. So most definitely, many of these companies, they desire training on understanding the requirements of that standard. And we at the GNBS, we are always <laughs> pleased to assist them. Definitely. We have the cadre of professionals who have the competency to ensure that persons, they can deliver the kind of training that is second to none here in Ghana. And most certainly at the end of it all, uh, the participants have a, uh, gained the understanding that is required in terms of uh, the ISO 9000 and so many definitely. other training programs. Uh, yeah, so we are excited, as, <laughs> <laughs> yes, definitely. Yes. Um, so tell us more about the other training programs. Good, so we had the training which was understanding the requirements, but of course we just don't stop there. At the GNBS we want to ensure that persons when they deal with standards, they are well-rounded and they know specifically how to use them effectively in their operations. Now, right the middle of August we had an internal auditing training for ISO management systems. Now this training in particular was giving persons the information, the knowledge on how to basically check their systems that they have implemented. Now this training, it had approximately 15 persons yet again. Mm -hmm. And for another time, as we've all seen time and time again, 100% of the participants, they've all successfully completed this course. So they're able to go back to their organizations and basically use the knowledge that the GNB has provided to them on how to check their management systems, how to audit it, and be able to make better decisions to grow and expand their businesses. There are some trainings, which I'll tell you about shortly, that we do in collaboration with Delphi Consultants, which is in, based in Trinidad. So those are virtual sessions. And in that case, uh, those trainings, they last from 9 in the morning all the way to 4 in the afternoon. So that's usually the time frame of them. But three days, generally, but we do have some that are one days, some that are two days as well. Okay, that, that, I think that is the <laughs> adequate timing because I imagine after three, four days, persons get overwhelmed by, by training. So we try our best to uh, make, it, make it, you know, manageable and, and within a time that is acceptable. For definitely. Us. So most definitely, that is a good in terms of training. So tell us a bit about uh, the remaining training going on into October. No um, problem. Good. So in October, very early on, we're going to start with value stream mapping. Now, this is a training specifically that is going to allow persons to gain invaluable knowledge on how to basically uh, deal with situations and so forth that arise within their organization in alignment, of course, with the standards and the management systems. Now, this training is going to be run from October 3rd and 4th, and it's a two-day training, of course and it is going to be done in collaboration with Delphi Consultants. So this one in particular, as I said, the ones that are done in collaboration, it is not gonna be from nine to three, it's gonna be from nine to four, but of course, the information, I will stress on it, it is invaluable. So it is something that person can definitely look forward for. Now, right after that, of course, we also have understanding the requirements of ISO 5001 coming up. Now that is a training that we're gonna provide here at the GNBS, mm -hmm. and it is basically going to equip persons with the knowledge on how to implement more so uh, the occupational health and safety standards. So it's gonna tell them specifically what the requirements are so that they are aware of it in the event that they're looking to maybe implement a management system. Because the only way you can do that is if you know exactly what you have to put in place. That's an internationally recognized standard, right? It is, ISO 45001. Good. So right after that, of course, we have introduction to metrology coming up. Now, this here is an exciting one that was recently launched throughout the course of this year here. Mm -hmm. And it's basically going to tell persons exactly what metrology is all about, how to basically use these measurements and so forth. And it's something that here at the GNBS we try to promote. So, of course, it is an important training that persons can definitely look forward for. I know, I know uh, that 
you mentioned metrology and you yeah. rightly mentioned the word measurement. So just for viewers, if you if you join us and you want to know what we're talking about this morning, we are, today we are actually talking about the training sessions offered by the Guyana National Bureau of Standards. And definitely metrology has to do with measurements and the GNBS is the National Measurement Institute. So we have the the, what, the authority to provide such training, we have the knowledge, the expertise to provide such training to industry and so forth. So, so most definitely we encourage industry, if you're curious about measurements, you want to know a little introduction of what measurements are all about and how they can benefit your sector. Uh, Tyrone would agree with me that we, you should get on board the introduction to metrology training. Definitely. And of course, one of the trainings that is in very high demand that persons are looking forward to all year long IRC Elite Auditor. But that is one that is coming up as well in October between the 17th to the 21st. And it's a five day course. Yeah. Now this course is going to be done again in collaboration with Delphi Consultants and it is going to be a virtual session. So of course persons, we make our facilities available to them. So persons can come to the GNBS of course and they do the training here in our facilities and of course it, they're going to gain that invaluable knowledge. I'm going to stress again on that because Lead Auditor, it basically equipped them with all the knowledge necessary to be able to not only audit a management system, but of course for them to become Lead Auditors in their own rights. Um, we encourage you to be a part of this training, uh, these trainings that are coming, and the GNBS is here to serve you. Our mission is to ensure that, you know, we want businesses to grow and develop. And uh, one way they can grow and develop is with standards. It is with standards that you can get better, can improve your operations and all of that. We know that standards are not taught in school and the GMBS finds the need that, you, that we can provide training like these, that, like Tyrone mentioned, that you can be able to build your competency and build your staff so that you can do well. So one of the things I at least like to leave with our viewers today is that here at the GMBS, the trainings that we provide, they are basically unique trainings. They're trainings that are tailored to ensure that you gain invaluable information and knowledge that you can take back with you, not just within the world of work or within the organization that you basically work with, but of course, information that you can use in your everyday lives for years to come. So it is something that they can look forward to. And as you touched into a little bit, we like to say here at the GNB, as persons, when they're signing up for our trainings, they don't have to worry about anything. They don't have to bring anything with them. Just come with a willingness to learn. We'll take care of the rest. So we're basically going to take care of you for the duration of the training period. So just come on board, sign up for these trainings and just gain the knowledge and let's have fun together. I encourage you to contact the GNBS and sign up to participate in one of our professional training courses. Before we bring this program to a close, let me take this opportunity to acknowledge that September was Education and Amerindian Heritage Month. The GMBS continues to work closely with the Ministry of Education and the schools under their purview to educate the youths of Guyana on standardization and its importance towards enhancing our economy. Meanwhile, our standards department has several national standards which can be acquired and used to enhance the quality of local Amerindian products. Be sure to check these out on our standards portal at gnbsgui.com. This brings us to the end of this month's edition of GNBS in 30 television program. Ensure you follow us on Facebook as we keep you updated on the various services offered by the Bureau, including training, verification, calibration and testing, standards and more. For more information, visit our website at gnbsgy.org. To contact us, call 219-0064-66 or WhatsApp us on 692-4627. Goodbye for now.